Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 8. I'm actually editing this video right now and I'm putting two days together. It's going to be Vlogmas Day 8 and 9. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I realized that I didn't actually do any commentary during this day. I sort of just filmed everything and meant to do a commentary like later about what we were doing and stuff. So I'm doing that now. So what happened was my family and I, we just sort of needed a break away from the city and to like do something nice and calming. So we went to Blue Springs National Park or State Park and it's about an hour away with the tolls. The tolls were about six or seven dollars total and it was six dollars to get in and we got to see manatees. I'm sure you can tell from the title of this vlog, but it was so cool. My family and I, we are very nature people. I don't know, I feel like I've said this in a vlog, but I'm half city girl, half country girl, definitely. So it was so nice to go out there and just be away from the city and be away from the noise and to smell actual fresh air. And it was so beautiful, guys. And there were so many um, ways that they were helping these animals that are endangered. And we got to see about 15 or so different manatees. Of course, I didn't film all of it, but it was so cool I loved it and it was just really nice to spend the day with my family that way um, we also went for a hike there are different things that you can do there besides just seeing the manatees you can go kayaking or on boat rides and different things like that so it was a really cool place and if you're into that kind of thing I definitely definitely recommend it look you see him? oh yeah look Look, there's one right there, and then there's two over there. You Look see it? Look at the manatee. Look at the manatee. They're just kind of chilling in the water. He's chilling. Hey, bro. to do left-handed. Hello again everyone. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and on to tomorrow's vlog. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. <laughs> so currently I am here at Target. I just got off work. I worked from 8 to 5 
and today is payday. So I'm coming in, I'm gonna grab some fruit um, and like toilet paper, we're out of toilet paper again. You would be surprised at the amount of toilet paper that our household goes through. So a bit of an update, my family left early this morning. Originally, I thought that they were going to stay until Friday, like I thought they would be leaving Friday morning, but they ended up leaving two days earlier than planned, which is really sad, but you know, it's just what needed to happen. Okay, question for you guys. For those of you fruit lovers, like grapes, do you try the fruit before you buy it? Because I've heard some people consider that stealing, but I don't wanna buy like a whole thing of fruit, like grapes or something, and not like it when I get home, because grapes aren't cheap. They have a lot of water weight. So, I want your opinion on that. Is trying the grapes or like berries before you buy them do you consider that stealing or not? Let me get this bag. I got through so many grapes. I love grapes. What's your favorite fruit, guys? I want to know. Uh, so I'm so excited. Last time I was here, they didn't have any of these. If you guys haven't had these, these are so good. You can just like microwave them and put some sea salt on them. Sometimes I can just eat these for dinner. <laughs> Low key salty at myself because I forgot my Fitbit this morning. I was charging it last night and I forgot to put it back on. So, high key, I've been seeing Remy like making these, like doing these cooking videos with spaghetti squash. So I'm definitely gonna get one. And I have hamburger already to put in there. Um, I guess I need to get an onion and then some like pasta sauce. So I'm like really excited. Guys, I remember when ramen was literally only 10 cents a pack and like the six pack was a dollar. Inflation, y'all. So recently I followed an account on Instagram where it's like, I don't even know, but it's showing all of these like Japanese or just like Asian foods being cooked and a lot of them have like these really good like looking ramen and Thai and oh my gosh. So I got some, I got some ramen noodles so I can try and recreate what they're doing. <laughs> I want to get these just cause of Moana. <laughs> That's funny. Look at the little marshmallows. But vlogmas is happening. It is. It'll be up. Mm -hmm. Say hi to Justin. Hi. So, funny story. Um, Justin's been in a vlog before. It just hasn't been edited yet. It will. I promise. We went to food and wine together. But we're here at Panera. I got the turkey avocado melt. I'm disappointed, guys. I paid $8 for this. And look at that. I paid for a drink and got water. Yeah, that's true. We suck at life. Alright everyone, I am back at the apartment. That meal that I got, I got the chicken avocado, no, turkey avocado melt. It was actually really, really good. But, yeah, I'm back home. I am exporting a video. This is Vlogmas Day 6. I already have Vlogmas Day 7 actually uploaded, I mean, um, edited and everything. Say hi to Abby. She's going home soon for like 10 days. Let's not discuss it. So I'm not gonna get to see her. She's like the only one in the house who actually likes me. A piece of advice, never plan a trip home right before the end of your program. Yeah. But to be fair, she didn't know if she was going home and ever need. And I also hated my old job. Yeah, but she liked her new job. All right, everyone, guess where I am again? <laughs> so I am here just mooching up the Wi-Fi again, uploading uh, two videos, Vlogmas Day 6 and Vlogmas Day 7. This one I sing in the Candlelight Processional, and this one I do Winter Formal and Blaze with some family. So I just worked out, and I did like a mile and a half on the elliptical, that's all. Um, and then I'm gonna go watch a movie with my friend Justin, who I ate with, um, after. So, that's tonight. Hello, so quick story. This is terrible lighting. I uh, just got done at Starbucks. Ooh. So, I just got done at Starbucks, and funny story, um, I was like at the end of uploading, and the girl there, she was there last time. She was super nice last time, and really sweet this time, and we were talking and she offered to make me drink so that was really nice but so I was waiting for her to do that and a guy came up 
and his name was Bryant, and he started talking to me, and he was really nice and everything, um, and saw that I was from Texas, and we were talking about Texas, and how he wanted someone to show him around, and how he bought land there, and all of this stuff, and finally I got, like, a whiff of his breath, and he was obviously intoxicated, and, like, he, ooh, that scared me for a second, um, and he talked about how he just come from a wedding and they were celebrating and all this stuff and he went to the wrong Starbucks and I was like, okay, cool. And he was like, well, you know, like, let me give you my number so we can get together whenever I come back to Texas and you can be my tour guide and all this stuff. And I was like, oh, okay. So I just gave him a piece of paper to write his number on and thankfully he didn't ask for my number. Um, and he like wanted to walk me out to my car and... <laughs> Um, and to stall, like, I was, t I was trying to, like, wait for the girl to, like, tell her thank you for my drink. She made me a stirred caramel macchiato, a.k.a. a vanilla latte with caramel drizzle, is what she said it actually is. Because ma macchiato means layers. Anyway, I'm rambling, and she, I was like, hey, you know, I have some extra guest passes. Do you want them by any chance? Because... Like, I, she probably thinks I'm a complete weirdo because I gave her my information in case she wanted them. But she has been, like, so nice to me those few times that I've been there. Like, and I know I'm a complete stranger, but just the fact that she had been so nice and, like, sweet. I was just like, hey, like, do you want these? Like, I don't know, to repay her for our kindness. Um, so who knows if she'll actually, like, message me. She said she was self-terming from the program soon, which makes me sad. But, you know, it is what it is. It's her second program, so, you know, nothing new. Um, so, yeah, that was the story. I got hit on by a man in Starbucks. That was interesting. Anyway, I'm here at Justin's. I don't know how long I'll be here because it's 10.15 and I meant to be here sooner, but that guy stopped me and was talking to me for, like, 15, 20 minutes and I didn't know how to say, like, okay, you gotta go, you know, and then the girl made me the drink and I didn't want to leave right away and seem insincere. So, anyway, I'm here now. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Hello everyone. So I already started the next day's vlogmas when I realized that I didn't end the vlog last night. So basically, I went over to Justin's and we watched The Kingsman. Um, it was like a spy sort of comedic movie and it was really good. Um, and yeah, then I came home and slept a lot. I slept a lot. So anyway, thanks so much for watching guys. Love y'all.